Shri Gurudhya Namaha. Welcome to the Sarvon and Jishri class. In last uh, class, uh, we discussed about the Mohanjadaro drainage system, great dark citadel, the lower, uh, lower area and all. Now, let's uh, go to see about this occupation, trade and uh, the script what they how they uh, wrote and all you have to we are going to discuss about that see let's see about the uh, industry uh, people occupation you know agriculture is the important occupation of this industry valley people main occupation was farming of wheat barley fruits vegetables first people to cultivate cotton in the world Fertile land surplus of food exported to other cities also. Domestication of animals. What are the animals? Goats, sheep, uh, bulls, dog, uh, cats, buffaloes and all. Excellent in potters and crafts people, skilled crafts people. Potters, wheel, painted pots, terracotta and symbolic of mother goddess. See, main occupation, agriculture. Agriculture was the main occupation of the Indus people. Crops such as wheat, barley, peas and bananas were raised at this. Uh, in the olden days, there was enough rain. There was a rain at the time and all. In the region and occasional floods brought a great deal of the fertile soil to the area. See, this one is the granary. They store their grains here. See, animals. Eating. People used to plow the land with the wooden plowshares drawn by men or oxen from the existence of granary. And it is concluded that there were surplus of food grain, art and crafts. Crafts of the Indus Valley includes pottery making, dyeing, metal working in bronze and wheat making. See, see this beads. Jade from Himalayas, the things from, uh, while excavating, jade from the Himalayas, lapis lazuli from Afghanistan, turquoise from Persia, amethyst from Mavar in India. And stellite, which was found locally. See the ornaments they used. See the ornaments. See, this is not dyes and small sculptures of bullet tracks were probably used as a toy and game. The first known use of cotton as a Fiber for weaving textiles by this uh, Indus Valley people one day occurred in this Indus Valley civilization. See the toys. Now you are having, uh, now you are not playing in the toys at all. You are playing in the gadgets, phone and watching TV and playing in the laptop and all. See, at the time they made this toy. See here. Trade and Commerce. Trade and commerce. Traders carried on in the country as well as with other countries also like Egypt, Babylon, Afghanistan. Many seals of Arafa found in Mesopotamia show that trade existed between the two countries. The seals, seals you know, no? will do like this you know, in the paper and all the stamp like that in the Press it in that blue pad, that stamp pad, it will be in blue color like this, we do know that one. They are made of terracotta and they are used by merchants to stamp their goods. See, the people of the Indus Valley used weights and measures also, weights and measures in their business transactions. See, they use the weight and measure, they use 16 and its multiples. Script. Let's see about their script. The Harappan script was engraved on numerous seals that have been uh, found at all Indus Valley sites. In all the Indus Valley sites, you can see their script. The script of the Harappan was 
pictographic like pictures they didn't write a b c d or i e and all they write as a drawing they wrote as a drawing that only their writings that that is picture like signs i told you know picture like sign that representing words archaeologists have over 400 distinct indus symbols which were made on seeds small tablets and on over dozens of other materials one of the oldest scriptures of hinduism were also found in the while well, excavating the weather scholars are non certain if these symbols consist of proper writing system it's not consist of a proper writing system so they can't understand their writings and uh, decline of this how it has been declined this indus valley civilization let's see about uh, 3500 years ago there was a big change in the life of the people the number of people living in the cities were became less gradually uh, going down okay in mohanjadaro the drains were choked see they didn't clean the drainage system they didn't clean so they it's choked and garbage caught by garbage is and all struck in the drainage so the water is not going out upon it's going on the street itself we do not do why it's it was happened we don't have that evidence and all but archaeological evidence suggests that people abandoned the cities and moved to smaller settlements they moved to another cities or another place maybe it will be it had been happened see uh, sometimes it causes famine hunger you know what is famine hunger drought there is like that means they can't live the people the human being the people can't live uh, eco ecological factors like uh, uh, what flood earthquake volcanic eruptions disease okay or invasion by other civilization another civilization civilization will be happen this is the cause of the declination of this uh, indus valley civilization thank you hope you understand this lesson thank you